Hey friends, this is Atif Opier. Well, and welcome to the new update on Bitcoin. As in my earlier video, I was showing you that Bitcoin was about to break an inverse head and shoulder pattern on the four hour time frame chart. And this was the video, by the way. And now, if we take a look at the live chart, then you can see that the price line has finally broken outdoor resistance of this inverse head and shoulder pattern. And in today's video, we will once again take a look at this move and we will also take a look at some on chain analysis as well. But before starting this analysis, if you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe it. And for more trading signals, you can also join me and support me as a YouTube member or as a Patreon member. Because here I'm sharing different trading signals for you. And you can find a link to join me here in the video description I've shared. And if you would like to see how my trading signals work, then I've also shared the link for the trading signal report for the current month of September 2023 in the video description. You just need to open that report. And for example, if you would like to check or verify any trading signal like this, the trade setup for a scale network, you just need to click on the link for the trade setup and it will take you to the trading view chart. And there is a play button available on every chart there. And it, you just need to click that play button like I'm doing here. And it will show you how the price line moved up from the buying zone and rallied to the sell target zone. And this was a quite massive pump, by the way. Now, let me to take you crypto quant to show you some on chain analysis. And as in my earlier video, I was showing you that uh, Bitcoin inflow, uh, by the way, Bitcoin inflow shows uh, the number of Bitcoin transferred to the different exchanges. And if this number increases, that indicates that the sell pressure can be increased. And if this number decreases, that shows that now the price can move up and the sell pressure can be decreased. And I was showing you that in the month of uh, September, you can see this is the month of August and this is the month of September. Uh, this number is significantly moved down and you can see here we had a highest number in the last 30 days that was on 18th of uh, august that was more than 46,370 bitcoins transferred to the exchanges and at that day we had extreme sell-off therefore i was telling you that in order to, uh, in order to form another lower than the previous low on a weekly time frame chart like you can see that so far it is not uh, able to form another lower than previous low uh, we need such transfer of Bitcoins to the exchanges like we had here and here and here as well. But you can see that it was significantly moved down. And yesterday it was uh, total inflow was 8,800 Bitcoins. And now today so far we have 15,000 and almost 165 Bitcoins transferred to the exchanges. Now uh, you can see that the price line is not able to form another lower than previous low on this weekly time frame chart. And by the way, we have already broken out a very, very big falling wedge pattern on this weekly time frame chart. We should remember at this point that we have already broken out a very big uh, falling wedge pattern. That was a very, very huge breakout because uh, we got stuck inside this wedge here when we found the support of the wedge here in the month of May 2021. And we found the resistance in the month of November. And since then, you can see it was not able to break out the resistance. And finally, after getting quite squeezed inside this falling wedge pattern, we broke out the resistance here in the month of January 2021. And then we had a nice rally that was almost 103%, more than 100% uh, rally, but the price and got rejected by this long-term resistance of $31,800. And this is in fact a very strong and long-term resistance that, that starts from $28,500 and goes to $31,800. Previously, this level has been breaking as a support here, support here. And after breaking it down, you can see it flipped into a strong resistance and we are getting rejections again and again. And you can see that since we have tested the support of the wedge here, the price line is continuously forming higher lows. And this is another low, higher low and higher highs as well. And this time we had a clear signal of a price reversal because uh, we had a double hidden bullish divergence when we were testing the support here. I was showing you this double hidden bullish divergence in my almost every video that uh, you can see that the RSS stochastic oscillator is forming lower than previous though we formed this low here that the next low is lower than the previous one at the same time RSI also formed this low here and the next low is lower than the previous one but the price line is forming higher low than previous one and this is the hidden bullish divergence that is a signal for the price reversal and therefore, you can see now the price line is showing a clear reversal uh, from this support, a quite long term support of $24,756. Previously, this level had been breaking as a support here, resistance here, support here as well. And now it can make a powerful attempt to break out 
this resistance of $28,500 because on the four hour time frame chart, it has broken out the resistance of this inverse head and shoulder pattern that I was also showing you in my previous video as well. This was the left shoulder, this was the head, and this was the right shoulder formation. And here we had the neckline of this inverse head and shoulder pattern. And now you can see that the price line has clearly broken out the resistance of this inverse head and shoulder pattern. Now, if we apply the divergence check on this chart to check out if there are any um, bearish divergence we have on this chart or not to confirm this breakout, then first we need to watch stochastic. You can see that stochastic is forming higher, uh, high high. At the same time, you can see that price line has already formed higher than the previous high. And if we want RSI oscillator, then you can see it is significantly form another uh, higher than the previous high. So there is no bearish divergence or hidden bearish divergence on this chart. Therefore, there is a very high probability that uh, the price line may hit the target for this breakout. Yes, there can be a probability that the price line may retest the previous resistance of the uh, head and shoulder pattern, uh, this neckline as a support, and then it may start the next reversal. And the target, by the way, for this inverse head and shoulder pattern uh, can be here. I was telling you it depends on the uh, breakout point. Now, now we have broken out the resistance from here. Therefore, the target can be now here. That will be approximately at $28,800. And in this situation, we can break out this very long-term resistance of $28,500 as well. And by the way, the final target for this previous breakout from this previous falling wedge pattern is here at the top of the red that is approximately at $70,000. So this was the update so far. I hope that you have liked the analysis. Then do hit the like and do subscribe to the channel as well. And for more trading signals, you can also join me and support me as a YouTube member or as a Patreon member. Because here I'm sharing different trading signals for you. And you can find a link to join me here in the video's description I've shared. Take care. Goodbye.